mathematics. It's about shape, size, measurement, data handling. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will solve an isosceles triangle. P is a point on BC of the triangle ABC such that AP is equal to AC is equal to VP. If P is equal to PC, find the value of the angle ABC. How to solve this one? First, we have to make a diagram of a triangle. Now, if this is the triangle, this is a triangle ABC. So, if we designate as A, B, and C. Now, the condition here is AB is equal to AC is equal to BP. AB is equal to AC. That means, this is an isosceles triangle because 2 AB is equal to AC. That means, two sides of equal length is an isosceles triangle. Now, here is the third condition that it is equal also to BP. Now, where is BP? P is the point on the BC. BC on a triangle. So, if you see that this is equal to, so it means we can write it here. This is P. So, P is, BP is equal to AB and AC. So, it is equal. So, AB, BP, and AC. Now, here, also, there's an, another sentence. If PA is equal to PC, that means PA is equal to PC. This is also an isosceles triangle because this length is equal to this length. So, this is an isosceles. Now, if therefore, here, find the value of the angle ABC. Now, which angle? This one, this one, or this one? No. Because here, it is ABC. That means, our attention, if it is angle ABC, our attention is on this corner and this. That means, this one. A, B, A, B, C. So, we designate as angle theta. Now, here, from this Big triangle, because this is isosceles, that means, for example, it will look like that as X, and this is Y, and this is Y also. Okay, and this is also an X. Therefore, from this triangle ABC, see, triangle ABC is equal to, as uh, I said in, uh, before, that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So, 180 degrees is equal to the sum of the interior angles which is equal to theta plus this angle x plus, sorry, x plus y. This is x plus y, so this is the whole angle plus this angle plus y, which is equal to 180 degrees. So, simplifying this one, 180 degrees is equal to theta plus x plus 2y. So, here we have an equation 1. We have, now, here, again, because we are, we are looking for the angle theta, now here, from angle A, uh, triangle A, B, P. In triangle A, B, P, we have theta, theta plus x plus x. So, plus 2x is equal to the sum of the interior angles is 180 degrees. So, here is our another equation. Means, 
x therefore is equal to and we have divide div, to divide this by 2 x therefore is equal to 90 minus theta over 2 this is another equation from this one to this one so here it is again because this triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle that means this angle must be the same as this angle because the this length is equal to this length so this angle must be the same of this angle because in as I've said an isosceles triangle this angle must be equal to this angle so theta is equal to y therefore theta is equal to y this angle is equal to this angle because they are of the same length this they are isosceles triangle now therefore we can substitute these values here in this equation 180 degrees is equal to what is theta uh, theta plus x which is equal to we can substitute the value of x which is equal to 90 minus 90 minus theta over 2 this is the value of x plus 2y plus 2 and then y because in this 2y because y is equal to theta so we can we can substitute the value of y as theta so here it is we have only one unknown which is theta therefore we can solve this one after simplifying all this one theta therefore is equal to 36 degrees so here is the the angle we are looking for the value of the angle we are looking for in the triangle a b c now for example this is written as uh, triangle a c b that means we are look a c b that means we are looking for this angle because where if it is e c b then we are looking for this corner which is this one but because here it is a b c that means a b c that means this angle we are looking for therefore the value of the angle is equal to 36 degrees by the way we, before we will end our video we'll have a quick review of the angles and triangles now when we see triangle of course triangle have three sides now for example we have this triangle this one we call it as a right triangle because this corner is equal to 90 degrees so if this is 90 degrees the rest are must be 90 degrees plus this one plus this one must be 180 degrees for example this is theta and this is alpha theta plus alpha plus 90 degrees is equal to 180 degrees always in a triangle the sum of the interior angles is 180 degrees now this is a right triangle now for example when you see an isosceles triangle isosceles triangles man, means these two sides are equal we will see it two legs two sides are equal that means the angle inside of course the total of the angle is still the same 180 degrees so if this is theta this is also theta therefore this one is 180 minus this one therefore is 180 the total of this minus 2 theta this is the third angle so in an isosceles 
two sides are equal, so the angle here is equal to the angle here. This is an isosceles triangle. Now, for example, we're dealing with the equilateral triangle. That means all the three sides are equal. Therefore, if all the three sides are equal, meaning the angle inside, the angles inside are equal. So, if this is theta, this is also theta, and this is also theta. That means 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degrees times 3 is equal to 180. Yan, importante yan.